What's up, Stone Watches? Um, uh, I've been hearing a lot of rumors. Well, no, no, actually, it's not a rumor at first. That's or at least that's what I thought it was. But no, I'm pretty sure it's concrete now that uh that uh season two of the Dragon Prince, uh, the Netflix show made by the uh, same guys behind uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender, is getting a season two. And I just more or less made this video to see what I would like what, what I would like to see in uh, Dragon Prince, some improvements. Not exactly anything that will happen to the story. I don't, I don't do this here. If I were to say anything would would to be in the story, it would to be this would be uh, if I were to rewrite Dragon Prince or anything or uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It would ever be those type of videos, which I'm not here to say what the writers should write. And whatnot. This is not what this video is about. I'm just, I'm just like this video is just pretty much made for me to see. It's pretty much made for me to say what I would like to see in the Dragon Prince, like improvement wise, not exactly to change the script or to change the writing of it, but what I would like to see, what improvements, what I would like to see in the future of Dragon Prince that will more or less uh, give their watchers. Uh, a more grand understanding, a more, more, a more, a, a, a bigger grasp of what's going on, because uh, throughout the internet, like at the same time, like you know, it, like at the same time, I always hear people praising the Dragon Prince, which is fine. Uh, literally, like right now, you can tell like the Dragon Prince fandom is like fucking, you know, blowing up right now. I mean, we got, we got like. We got rant videos and, and lore videos of Dragon Prince coming out pretty much like once a week or or once a month, just like Avatar. Although it's like long over and, and despite despite you know the sequel comics coming out, the series itself is over, but yet you'll still hear people still making lore and rant videos on Avatar. So that goes to show how popular Avatar is. And that's the same uh, situation that's going with the Dragon Prince. Like despite of it you know, pretty much only having one season that we know about of, of uh, nine episodes, it's still like gradually just getting, the, the fandom itself is just gradually getting larger and larger and larger by the month or the week or the day or the second or wherever which. Uh, and and although it is getting bigger, although it is it's getting there, like it's getting a lot of approval from people. I mean, you got you got, like I said before, you got rant videos and lore videos of the Dragon Prince out, and you got, uh, you got vines and all that, you know, of people like, hey, th like, like, you know, they'll put their name of the character and they'll use someone from the internet who says or does a certain thing, just put their name on it, like Claudia or Rayla or Ezran and all of them. So, yeah, you can see just plastered in on, you know, they plaster, you know, their names on them and whatnot out of jokes and all that so yeah you could so yeah that that's pretty much a sign that uh dragon prince is uh steadily uh growing in popularity and notoriety so yeah that's the that's the good side about it but considering i said i would like to see changes there's also uh more a more negative side to the to the uh to this uh spectrum more or less um uh more so on uh the one thing people most be complaining about, like it's really choppy uh, CGI and animation. Like, you know, it looks really stiff in some places and, you know, they move like really weird, just like Berserk and uh, 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 Genlock. Like people had a lot of, the sim there were similar complaints. Just like Genlock, like the animation was kind of stiff. It was kind of rigidy. It was kind of, you know, choppy and slow and whatnot. And that's pretty much the same uh, issue people have with Dragon Prince. So, yeah, I would like to see, you know, the animation, the CGI to be a bit better, a, a bit more humanish, a bit more sleek, a bit more smooth. You know, like, you know, actually looks like, you know, the running and doesn't just look like a really bad N64 or PS1 game animation, like how they walk and run and move and whatnot. So I would like to see some improvements on CGI. Although I can't completely blame uh, uh, Netflix on it because CGI doesn't grow on trees and CGI like really needs like like CGI really needs a lot of TLC so it can be perfect and probably people don't have that much uh, patience for it or something or you know it's it's still a really a uh, 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 
frothy buy, I would say. It's it's really hard to, to keep up. So I'm not going to completely uh, 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 this. Uh, um, I'm not going to completely uh, ridicule the CGI because I know it's not really easy. CGI in general is just not easy to make. I mean, it's easier to do CGI than animation, but to get it perfect, like like. Good CGI, good CGI, like uh, like a uh, volume, like volume six in in certain parts, because certain parts there'd be like two D animation. So yeah, in certain parts, we'll be uh, volume six CGI was like incredible, and and I kind of want to see Dragon Prince reach that somewhere in season two or later in the future if it does continue. So yeah, better CGI. That's pretty much all I gotta say. Uh, it needs a little more TLC, a little more work. Uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. Um, I would like to see the more expansion to the uh, to the to the world building and the the, the realm of dragons and and and, sh and moon shadow elves and other mythical creatures. I'd like to see more of uh, expansion on that uh, in the future because it's a fantasy story and one of the main uh, uh, highlights of most fantasy uh, stories is the world building. And so, therefore, in the future, I would like to see them expanding more on on their world, on the mythical world, aside from the human world, where it's more materialistic. They still fight with swords and blades and shields, and you know, it's only splits and splatters that you'll see people uh, fighting with, um, you know, with magic or you know, orbs and charms and all that. Like, like the only people we know in the human world who actually do use manipulate magic. Is Claudia and 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 uh, her father. That's literally the only people you see more or less using magic. So it's here and there. And apparently, from the foreshadowing we got from from episode one, uh, humans once actually did coexist with the with the mythical the mythical magical realm. And apparently, the the the, the father of uh, the, the main villain, main antagonist, I kind of forgot his name. Uh, was once and then once inhabit was and then inhabited that realm until he probably transitioned to the human world when that the moon shadow elves and all the other mythical creatures pushed them out because of uh their 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 onslaught with the dragon kingdom and whatnot pretty much pushed them out into the human material world so yeah I would like to see more uh, world building uh, especially I like I would like to see them. Uh, uh, use the more show don't tell aspect of of the world building. Like I kind of think sometimes exposition and world building kind of you know kills the mood of it. I mean, I always see world building as you know you literally putting yourself in you literally putting yourself in the world instead of being told the world. Like like uh, ge uh, geo uh, geography. It's like ge okay, more or less giving exposition and world building. It's almost like geography. Like, yeah, I can just pick up a book and read about the world, but sometimes I just want to—I want myself personally to be put in the world. So I think they should utilize more of show don't tell uh, uh, aspects in uh, uh, season two and in the future of Dragon Prince in general. More show don't tell aspects and more uh, ex and, and, and less exposition. Because I actually want to put myself in the world. That's the whole point of world building. I mean, you can still, you know, give, you know, insight and exposition on world building. But but you should really just keep it at a minimum. Because I think, like I said before, I pretty much keep reiterating myself. The whole concept, the whole selling point of world building yourself is to put yourself in this place. Uh, se uh, a separation from the one we coexist in and put yourself in another uh, physically and, and, and literally, uh, in both concepts, whatnot. Like, examples of good world building, although there is, like, here and there, uh, exposition, but I can't completely, uh, uh, denounce it. Like, good examples of it would be, uh, the Middle Earth or, uh, uh, Bleach. Bleach does world building really good. Avatar does world building really good. Everyone actually does seem like they're separate society. They're actually shown what happens in the world. In Avatar, uh, uh, the firebenders are more carnivorous, they're more industrial, they're more, uh, they live in a more di dictatorship, monarchy uh, government and whatnot. 
Uh, the earth benders more or less get around with, you know, with their bending. The water, uh, the water tribe lives in a more in a in a more tundra area. They're more they're more spiritual. They're most spiritual, uh, most spiritually uh, uh, connected people in the avatar in the avatar world. A A S G. I, I think that's what it's called. A S G. Uh, like they actually like you know the more spiritual base and just like their benders they also get around with their water bending same thing with uh, the air benders they mostly get around with their air bending they're more you know peaceful they're not really the conquerors or anything there's no real kingdoms or or, or factions or a military they're more peaceful they're more you know monk related and whatnot and they're more calm they're more serene. They pretty much separate themselves from the rest of the world. So and and whatnot. Um, the same thing with bleach. You know, Soul Society is a more feudal place, a more a more uh, feudal Japanese government and whatnot. And uh, you know, Hueco Mundo is a barren wasteland who, who still depends on monarchy, just like the Soul Society. Yes, but theirs is more barbaric. Like that, they, they depend on more barbaric tactics to. Uh, uh, and and, and uh, to reach the throne and whatnot, it's more of uh, this really Darwinism concept going on with Hueco Mundo and whatnot. You know, survival of the fittest. You had to consume another hollow. This, you know, be on top and whatnot to be top dog and all that. You know, they pretty much depend on the very atmosphere to feed them and supply them and whatnot. So yeah, that's just good examples of world building. And I would like to see more of that in Dragon Prince, like. We already we already got a taste of the of the hu of the human world, the more material based world that the humans reside in, uh, and and uh, in the future, of course, the the whole point of the series was them returning the dragon prince to the dragon realm, the the realm of, of uh, mythical beasts and magic, and I would like to and I would like to see, you know, when they get to the to the mythical realm and all that, I would actually like to see, you know. Um, some really major differences. Uh, they should, you know, use the show don't tell uh, 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 concept more efficiently in uh, in in season two when they reach the magical realm. I, I would like to see them manipulate more concepts of that. Well, you know, the humor will get more around on chariots and 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 walking and and, and whatnot. Well, we're just around with walking, so I guess I can exclude that. More or less, get around with chariots and horses. While the magic realm would be like teleportation, or you know, they ride they ride on these, you know, mythological horse or lizard like creatures, just like Avatar. The Firebenders ride those little lizard creatures. Uh, so yeah, I would like to see that probably when they get to the magic realm, like their means of teleportation is different, their culture is different, uh, uh, the environment, the um, the setting is is different. Like, you know, like things are different, you know, you guys get the point, you know. So when they reach the magic realm, I would like to see some actually uh, TLC, some effort put into into the world building of Dragon Prince as far as season two goes and whatnot. That, that's pretty much what I got to say all about Dragon Prince's ensuing world building. I would like to see some major changes. I actually want to be convinced that this is a different world. I will actually want to be put into this world. Because uh, we're already living in this world, and the reason why we look at fantasy is for escape it, escapism into a different one. So I would like to see some more effort, less exposition, more to show, don't tell concept to it, and uh, into the Dragon Prince's uh, world building. <sighs> mm. uh, let's see, what else would I like to see change? Okay, I already got through uh, this, the, the overall animation CGI. Uh, the, 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 the pseudo anime drawing is is great. It sure is better than that Shiva reboot bullshit on uh, Netflix. <laughs> That's pretty much got to say about that part. The world building, uh, the animation needs some work. The world building should have some major TLC and effort put into it. And the suing arc or arcs to come forward. Uh, let's see what else. Um... Uh, that's pretty much about it. I mean, uh, the humor is the humor doesn't need any work. The humor is is pretty it's pretty good. I'm I'm pretty convinced of the humor. 
Uh, it's not as low brow or anything like that. Uh, the tone is fair enough, I would say. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. So, yeah, the only things that actually have to be cha uh, uh, major changes to be put into it is um, the animation, which will probably be no biggie depending on the budget of it. And uh, when they do world building, and especially it's really important because the Dragon Prince is a fantasy story, the world building should be, like, really good. It should be the main selling point of the series. And it should have a lot of effort. It should have a lot of TLC put into it. And whatnot. That's pretty much what I gotta say about that concept alone. Uh, well, that's pretty much all I gotta say about it and whatnot. They should utilize show, don't tell concept some more, whatnot. Uh, that's pretty much all I gotta say about it. Um, y'all, please catch uh, a video I might be making later today. Uh, me reviewing and discussing uh, uh, chapter six of uh, Ruby Volume Five. Of six, I think, yeah, six. Uh, today, I catch it later today. I'm when I get to it, and I get to it, I review it because I'm like passionately busy today with all a lot of shit and whatnot. So, you know, I'll get to it when I get to it. I kind of don't really have a lot of time for anything anymore like that. So, when I make it, it will happen today. That, that, make no mistake about it. I will get it out by the end of this day. So, yeah, catch that when I, when I put it out and whatnot. Uh, like to subscribe if you like the video. Uh, if you like, if you like, you know, rant videos on, you know, things that have been going on and whatnot. Uh, y'all can, y'all, y'all can just subscribe. Give notifications anytime you want to know whatever video I'm coming out uh, that I make that comes out recently. Uh, you can check my Deviant Art account. Yeah, I make, I make, and I make car, uh, drawings and stuff. I kind of really do want to do uh, mangas in the future. I'm. Uh, I'm a starving critic, I'm a starving mangaka, and a starving writer, sorta. So, yeah, y'all can y'all can check them out and whatnot. I'm still posting some new stuff on it here and there, sparingly when I get to it, because drawing, again, is something I really don't get around to, because I'm always passionately busy, whatever stuff. So, yeah, catch me on there sometimes and whatnot. Uh, I might do some more uh, literal work on there. I mean, this isn't on my fucking... Uh, 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 the fucking uh, script on DeviantArt that I do literal work, uh, literary work. So when I get to literary work, yeah, I can catch it out and whatnot. Uh, that's pretty much about it. Uh, so yeah, catch me around when I make that video. Uh, I might do some other shit like somewhere in this ensuing week. So yeah, catch some more content I make. And like always, man, uh, the Outer Storm is watching y'all. Excuse me. <laughs>